Hi and welcome. Today I will make you sleep less well at night. <laughs> I will explain why modern road bicycle rim brakes are inherently unsafe. I will show it and explain. Uh, in order to explain, first thing to, to note uh, and what I have in mind is a scenario where your wheel comes out of true. Wheels do come out of true. That, that's life. Even if you have a well uh, high quality, well built wheel, it can come out of true for several reasons. You may hit a pothole uh, really hard and have the rim bend or something like that, or a spoke may, may break. That happens even with high quality spokes and well built wheels. You can have a maybe malfunction, like uh, not uh, best built in the factory spoke with a problem and it might break and that may cause your wheel to come out of true. For wheels with 36 or more spokes, one spoke breaking often does not cause any problematic coming out of true. But most modern bicycles, especially road bicycles, are built to be super light, super fancy, and have often 20 or fewer spokes on the front wheels and maybe 24 on the rear or, or something like that. So. Uh, that, uh, that means that if one spoke breaks, the wheel will noticeably come out of true. So that is the scenario that can cause problems with modern uh, road bicycle rim brakes. I will explain that now why. F for a start, because the manufacturers wanted to make rim brakes be easily operated with our hands just on the, on the hoods of the, of the levers. Let me show just the hoods now. Here, this is what I mean. So when we have our hands on the hoods and we operate the brake with only two of our smaller fingers, maybe three, they, they try to make the brakes work for that scenario so that you don't longer have to get back into the low into the drops and, and get a good grip and, and hold firmly. But they want it to be easily operated to give you a better mechanical advantage. In order to achieve that, the brakes are made to so that you can align them to be very close to the rim and that they can easily be fine-tuned and centered. They have here like a tuning bolt that you can turn, screw in and screw out to finally move the brake calipers left or right so they are very close to the rim, unlike the old brakes that couldn't be uh, so finely tuned so easily, so that you can make them be close to the rim and then if you have a good mechanical advantage, that means that you need a longer a pull of the cable for smaller movement of the of the rims. That's how you get greater mechanical advantage, not rims, the, the brake pads. I have an article explaining mechanical advantage. I'll make it pop up somewhere that you can see. So that is the basic principle. So manufacturers did that. Shimano had several standards for road bicycle brake caliper pulls, SLR, super SRL, SLR and so on. So if you have very weak hands or don't like getting into the drops to pull the brakes properly, they, they made it work for you. But what is the price you pay? If your wheel comes out of true, these brakes will not move. When your rim starts moving left or right, these will not move for even a millimeter. As they have been set, they will stay like that. And so when your rim is out of true and it hits one of the pads, it can stop. And that's not very nice if it is a front wheel, it could lock up and cause you to fall down if you are in a, on a downhill or maybe especially in a turn. It, it can be dangerous, it's, it's not uh, practical. And I will now compare it with the old style brakes to show what I mean. Here we have some 1974 Shimano Durace brakes when they still used to make them properly. And this is what happens with these brakes when your rim comes out of true. Both brake calipers will move and follow the line of your wheel with no problems. There is some spring, but it's not enough load to cause the wheel to lock up. You will have some rubbing, but not a problem. So this makes these brakes a lot better, but you need to have a bit more hand strength to, to brake hard with these brakes. I've never had problem with these, but for some reasons manufacturers I, I maybe sound a bit rude, but it's as if they're making bicycles for people who are not in the least 
physically capable as if we are all like cripples so I, I don't have super strong hands and all the people that I know road cyclists even older people than me or younger haven't had problem with these brakes by not being able to grip them hard enough or something like that but manufacturers decided to make brakes that are like a bit more mechanical advantage and also the fine tuning mechanism and this uh, lack of movement making them unsafe so that's the price we pay and they will sell us helmets but they will not sell us well working brakes unless we go with the, the now fancy disc brakes that have their own <laughs> pros and cons but that's a topic for a separate video I have an article explaining pros and cons of these brakes and anyway I I'm not a fan of these modern brakes so I prefer to ho find a way to mount these old style ones or to use mini V brakes with frames that have V brake mounts even as as road bicycles with drop bars that's that's my cup of tea that's what I choose for myself and that makes it as as honest recommendation as, as it can be so that's that's all I have for you today thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in some other video Cheers.